Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome electric guitar soloing lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I want to show you how simple sliding can completely turn your solos into something a lot more musical, more beautiful, more fluid, more dynamic and expressive and human, because sliding makes the guitar speak. And most of us just use sliding in a very minimal way. We don't maximize the potential of sliding. And sliding is a very, very powerful tool. Usually when we play slides, it's usually something like this. We slide between two different notes. So what I did there at the end was a little bit more expressive. I slid into the exact same note. I played seven on the fourth string. I pulled off to five and immediately slid back to seven. And that created this effect. Okay. It's a lot more human. You can hear my fingers on the strings. You can feel my personal expression here. It doesn't just sound mechanical. It's not just mechanical. It's not just... Okay? Which is a mechanical way to get between point A to point B. It's more of a choice. It's a personal expressive choice. You can, you can use it to spice those predictable scale patterns. You can use it anywhere. Okay? This simple trick. Okay? You can use it to end your lines. You can use it to start your lines. You see, you can play it anywhere. Now, you can also play the slide as a surprise. Okay, you can play back and forth, but using slides. without even picking anything. You, do you hear how this makes your soloing a lot more human, a lot more fluid, a lot less rigid and predictable and technical? Okay, because the notes are not, um, are not exactly alike. Okay, every slide is a little bit different. You land on a note a little bit differently. You, um, you slur the slide a little bit. Sometimes you don't land perfectly but it still sounds great. Now, the cool thing here is that you can use intervals and slide between them as well. You can slide between fifth intervals, fourth intervals, third intervals, whatever fits your scale, okay? But with distortion, it sounds really cool. You slide on one string, you pick the next string, and then you can either slide again or you can pick the next string and then slide on the other string. Okay, it's just two strings at a time. Okay, this is using fifths. Now you can also use fourths. Okay. You can use it inside your solos as well. You can slide between thirds, okay? This makes it a little bit more classical. Okay? But it can really work well inside a solo just as a surprise, something to refresh the ear, okay? Um, this, again, I'm not showing you exactly what I'm doing because I don't want you to copy. I want you to get the concept of what I'm showing you. The slides are the main idea here, not the licks, okay? I want you to use this as a tool, so use it. 
slides are there to be used. And even if you only use one of the expression tools that I showed you, just the slide into the same note trick, that alone can transform your entire soloing sound. Because even if you're just playing a simple blues solo, just adding that trick into it can, can transform the entire solo into a completely different expression. It was a little bit forced because I was constantly, you, you know, I always say there's the teacher brain and the player brain and in order to get into player mode I need to forget about the camera but I need to demonstrate the specific technique so I tried to, um, I tried to blend both modes, came out a little forced but I think you got the idea. Okay, instead of being this predictable blues solo, suddenly it was a little bit more expressive, a little bit more personal, okay? Not everything was exactly on the grid, okay? There were surprises there. And um, it's okay to go off the grid, that's what I'm saying. And sliding offers that option uh, without really going off the grid. It just gives you the feel of going off the grid. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye-bye.